come up with a model, what's its main purpose? The purpose of the model um, is primarily to assist the actuaries within the profession uh, because they will be getting questions from their clients. Uh, what is the impact of, of, of COVID-19? So, so the, the model is uh, designed in such a way that you can play around with the parameters um, to see what the results would look like. So it's human nature for anyone, governments included, to want to know how bad things are going to get. Have you succeeded, you believe, in giving some of that certainty? Well, the, the purpose is not for us to give certainty because obviously a model doesn't give you certainty, but it gives you ideas of uh, what results you can ex you, 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 you can expect to get given certain parameters or certain assumptions. And that's what we have. So, so in the main, uh, there, there, there are four scenarios that we, we looked at, and uh, that is if uh, your your, what we call the, the R0, the, the rate at which uh, one person can in, in infect others, um, is it looking at that being three, and um, we've got a scenario where we look at that being a bit lower than that. And then also in terms of the being asymptomatic, um, uh, either we are 75% or we looked at one way, it's 50%, but 75% is what we, uh, we think uh, is more reasonable. And um, so we've looked at a number of those scenarios and there we're able to, to then look at what, what would be the estimated number of deaths and uh, what is the estimated number of um, ICU beds that would be required at certain stages. Um, and, and, and also the, the, the number of infections. You believe that COVID-19 related deaths could reach 48,000 roughly by about September if government does not maintain a strict uh, control to flattening the curve. Is the phased opening of the, uh, the economy factored into that projection? Yes, yes it is. Um, so we, although we had to make an assumption of how effective um, uh, those measures will be. So we made an assumption about how effective the lockdown would be because we, we all don't know what the effect of the lockdown was. Um, so that will still, we'll still still see that. So we had to make an assumption around that. And we had to make an assumption about the the other social distancing uh, uh, mechanisms, what the effect of those would be. Is your approach conservative almost, you would say? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the 48,000 that you're looking at, although we must say that we, the, the, the comments that we've been receiving from our own members, some are of the view that the, sort of the baseline scenario that we're looking at, which gives you the 48,000 that you spoke about, that that is too low. There are those that are of the view that is too low, and there are those who are of the view that is too high. Um, but, uh, but we think that is sort of the middle ground. Um, that is our baseline scenario. That is what we think um, is likely to happen. Lusani Mulautsi says on top of COVID-19, there's also an information pandemic. He says you should be circumspect in what you're reading and that those disseminating information should be honest and transparent. Mike Lappel, Johannesburg.